everything has cost and everything has worth. One dollar. Four quarters. Ten dimes. Twenty nickels. One hundred pennies. Or if you're feeling fancy, five dimes, five nickels, and a quarter. <laughs> Twenty pennies, ten nickels, three dimes, change the order, you'll still find that one quarter, two dimes, and eleven nickels, no matter what you call her, shall always end up a dollar. Now, this singular rectangular piece of government printed paper has, by its very nature, both cost and worth. And you know how much it's worth because you know how much it costs. 27 pennies, one quarter, three nickels, two dimes, and those three more copper coins from the couch cushions that you thought you lost will always be worth one dollar because you know how much a dollar costs. It's intrinsically linked like an ocean to its beach, like an arm to its reach, like a mouth to its speech. The cost and worth of this cotton woven purse are tied tighter than the fibers of its manufactured birth. One dollar is always worth one dollar. Genius. But what about you? What are you worth? Now, I'm not talking about net worth or benefits, assets or investments, or whether or not your salary is enough to land you on the Forbes list. When I ask this, what are you worth? I'm not asking, what do you cost? For I happen to believe that we as human beings are worth far more than we cost. But that's not what comes across when we only give in worth what we take in cost. 80,000 a year, 40 hours a week, one satisfied boss, that's what you cost. But if you'll look at your jobs like I hope you will, you'll see that many of you don't view yourself any differently than you view this dollar bill. And neither will those around you. Because as long as you measure your worth by the measure of your cost, you'll never look any different from the millions of printed dollar bills coming off the American mill. Because not working for your worth, but working for your cost is not how businesses win, it's how they are lost. Because people aren't just looking for face value, but for someone who will give more value than what the face actually costs. I mean, take this conference, for example. Is the worth of this meeting only paid what you, is only worth what you paid to be part of this meeting, or is its true worth found in what everyone who's been speaking and you've been speaking to have been bringing? I mean, is the worth of this summit simply summed up in the sum you summated to summon your submission? When you go home and a coworker asks, hey, how did it go? Will you just hand them an expense report thinking that's all you have to show? No. You'll tell them the value found in coming to join in over 1,000 strong. Seeing what can we be done when we value this collective club above our individual one. You'll tell them the value found in listening to Jeff Hurt spurt out challenging word after word of insight and encouragement. How we need a more bird's eye view that's not so focused on our individual silos list of to-dos. You'll tell them the value found in listening to Jim Fiedler, helping us all become better dreamers about the future of our infrastructure, people, and water. You'll tell them the value found in listening to Celeste suggest possible solution to those dreaded six horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, you know, you maybe you'll tell them the value found in using Jeff's free pass, not to get out of something you didn't want to say, but maybe to get out of running yesterday's 5K. And I'm hoping you tell them the value found in listening to this white Oklahoman recite a poem about how each and every one of you forms a water cycle for each and every Californian. You'll tell them the value found in all this and more because cost is so much different than worth. That's why the worth that I'm giving as I walk and as I talk isn't measured by the dollar that I give you and what could be bought. No, it's measured by the worth of my words. It's measured by what is being taught. And for you and your business, it's all about what you're worth. It's not about what you cost. For you are not a dollar bill. And as you give more in worth than what you're paid, what you cost will build. It's not about how much interest you make to accumulate more wealth, but about how much interest you place in others above the interest you place in yourself. 
It's not about how many greenbacks you get, but about how many people you give value to and how much value you give to each and every one of them. For you are not a piece of paper that people spend in order to get something else. Your most valuable asset isn't just doing what you're paid to do, but the value you give out of yourself. And when you finally start to give more in worth than you take in payment, get ready. Because there will always be someone affected by your worth, not your cost, who will honor your abasement. Don't be the paper, be the poem. Don't be the payment, be the motion. Don't be the dollar, be the words. Don't be the cost, be the worth. For when you start to give more in worth than you take when you're bought, you can finally let go of that wretched thing known as cost. Thank you all very much.